Look at my prelude. Oh my goodness. All right. So I wanted to make this video to help guys with this uh, prelude. There's just so much stuff um, to learn about this car. This thing is getting on my nerves. As you can see, I took out the the whole thing here because I was I was ripping this car apart. The intake is over here. The center console. The radio is out. Why did I do all that? So in the back back here is let me see if I can get up in there. Is the connector for the check engine light? They have it plugged up in here. So in order for you to check the check engine light. You have to get up in the back and unplug it and get it from the floorboard. So this would be the, the driver's side. So you have to get on your back and either get to it from up in here on the driver's side. Because for some idiotic reason, they decided to plug it up in the back of the car. The reason why I needed to find it was because my check engine light was coming on. So before I started, um, before I found the connector, I started doing this. Yeah, I started to remove the VTEC uh, solenoid right here. Um, I already got all the bolts loosened. Um, I got the, the main bolts to here, one down there, and one, one over here. And I disconnected the activator that activates the VTEC. And this is to turn the VTEC on right here. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to clean it. Um, because I'm thinking, um, because this issue only started happening after the car had sit for like a week or two. Um, when your vehicle sit, especially with Hondas, some key things that you want to look for is to make sure that you leave your parking brake down if you're letting your, your Honda sit for over a, uh, a week or over a long period of time because the calipers will lock up on you and um, yeah it, 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 it's, it's just from sitting for a while okay y'all uh, so this is my uh, Accord here uh, I had two chicken engine lights on it um, a distributor and um, EGR valve was giving me problem from the car sitting and you know it's causing issue so what ha what i ended up doing was i had um my car broke down in front of me um in front of the raven stadium um when it got hot every time i would drive it for a while and it would get hot it would break down wouldn't start uh the distributor module inside of this distributor if you pull this apart there's a little little chip in there and they go bad that's like a honda defect but the thing is to check my check engine light it sits right here on all, all the little honda cords sits right here easily accessible for the prey you literally have to get on your back reach on up see as you can see i literally like rip this thing apart let me turn hit the lights here i literally like rip the whole car apart which i'm not putting back i'm just gonna leave it like that um because I, I want to take that radio out anyways and put it in my wagon. It's a nicer radio and it works in the winter time. The radio in my wagon doesn't work in the winter. But um, yeah, so if you want to get to the connector for the uh, Honda Prelude, you either have to take the radio out or you have to get on your back and reach all the way up in there just to get the connector. Man, that thing had me going. I've been trying to find this thing for about a week or two now because my check engine light is on and I've been guessing what's the problem but I think it's the solenoid is clogged up from sitting but this is a how to find the connector to check the check engine light on a 93 Honda Prelude. Don't forget to like, share and this subscribe. Um, I also want to do uh, my rear rear right here uh lower ball joint on the back of the car because for for some reason when i got ready to try to find a part for it it was listed on the front upper ball joint and i needed it for the rear so this car here is just confusing um pretty soon i'll be trying to do those gas lines 
um they're a little bit rusted i gotta do those but it's just a whole lot of work man it's a whole lot of work so i made a, a connector to do my check engine light i just wired up uh, um to, to, to uh, join the fuse together um to join the system together to link it together that's a homemade one and i'm going to check the check engine light to see what code i get let me see where is it at there you go all right so it's one one two three four and i got another light flashing over here too don't even know what that is okay that stopped flashing so yeah i just got the check engine light and i'm gonna check the code one 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 two three oh i think this thing got more than four sorry about the steam two three four five six seven one 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 two three okay so it's got two codes in there so i gotta decode it but i'm gonna take this uh solenoid off and clean it up and uh go from there guess this thing got a couple of codes i'll, I'll work on it and figure out what it is oh i guess ain't nothing supposed to come easy huh if you really want it you gotta work hard for it age 22 think they need to call this thing a, a oil guzzler drink oil like crazy